Hello there, everyone in the Engaging Online Learning with Canvas class. This is Michael, your instructor, and I'm going to show you in this video how to turn on the mastery-based grading feature or learning mastery gradebook in Canvas. Um, what you're seeing right now is my window, and I'm logged in as the teacher, and you'll notice that I'm also an administrator in the UEN instance of Canvas. But you don't have to be an admin to... Um, change your settings for this. You should be able to do it just in your course as a teacher. To do this, go to the class where you want to activate or turn on that mastery gradebook feature and go down on the left of your menu and click on settings. When you get to your settings window, you'll notice that you have your course details where you can change the name of your course, the ID number, start and end dates, things like that. There's also your sections here and be aware that if you have multiple sections, changing this feature will change it for all of them. So you only have to do this once. Next up is your navigation. Uh, just a teachable moment here. For some of you who maybe made outcomes but we're not seeing them, uh, what you would do is grab that item from your uh, hidden section and move it up to where you want it in your menu and this allows your students to then see that. So while we're in here you might want to make it uh, visible for your students to see your outcomes and then click Save once you've done that. Also in here are your apps. If there are any LTIs or LTI tools that you want to install in your Canvas instance you can do that here takes a second for them to load, but once they're there, here are all of the uh, LTIs that are available to plug into your Canvas account. And then if you go and look, click on Installed, it'll show you what you have turned on. So I've turned on the TED Ed and the YouTube for um, my Canvas instance here. But let's get to it. We're going to go to Feature Options, and the very first item you should see at the top of this list is the Learning Mastery Gradebook, which provides a way for teachers to quickly view student and course progress on course learning outcomes. And based on what you've already heard about mastery-based grading, what that means is that we're scoring our students on the skills that we're teaching them and not necessarily on the products that they're creating. So in the second video of this module, I'll explain how those outcomes work with your rubrics and make it easier for you to grade and faster for you to grade and give your students better feedback. Uh, much like I've been doing, I hope, with the last couple weeks of our class. But you haven't had your Learning Mastery Gradebook turned on. So what I'm going to do is come over here and click on this little trigger, this button, so that the green... Um, uh, button lights up and there's the check mark and now I know that the Learning Mastery Gradebook is turned on. So to turn it off I go like that and let me just show you what, what that would look like. When I go to grades and you'll see all of your grades here, um, your name will be on the left and notice this area up here is just kind of blank. Um, I don't mind showing you your grades because you can see you just got a check or not if you completed it and these are the ones I still have to grade. But let's go back again to our course and turn that button back on. So again, I go to settings, then click on the tab for feature options and turn on mastery, learning mastery gradebook. Now that I've done that, let's go look at the gradebook. Here you'll see again your grades and your names. And look up at the top, there's a new button here, learning mastery right there. So I'm gonna click on that and what we see instead of the checks and the grades is if there are any learning outcomes in the course they'll be listed across the top and all of your scores will then be calculated here showing whether you exceed, meet, near, or are well below mastery. So this is blank right now but I'm about to grade your um, your second week assignments using some outcomes. So in our second video I'll show you what this looks like and now you know how to turn on the Learning Mastery Gradebook. Ready? One more time. You can try this on your own course. Go to Settings, then go to Feature Options, and make sure Learning Mastery Gradebook is turned on. If you don't see this right here, contact the administrator of Canvas for your school district, and we'll get that up and running for you so you can enjoy it this week in Canvas. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can always email me. Uh, directly through Canvas by going to your inbox right here or send it to michael at uen.org.